the coolest fish that swims. Prehistoric killing machine. Got him, got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Got him, big one, big one, big one, yes! yes! Got him, got him, oh my gosh, giant, giant. Oh my gosh, yes, yes! Woo! Dude, that is a giant. I finally got a big one. Welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Today's Angler. I'm Lee. I'm Barb. We are doing something a little different today. We are not chasing muskies. Um, and they're not chasing us either, apparently, because I can't catch a muskie. So we're going to do this today. Um, we are chasing the elusive state record dogfish. That's right. We are in the state of Wisconsin. We are looking for a 13-pound dogfish bowfin, mud musky, whatever you want to call them. Dinosaur. Uh, dinosaur prehistoric um, bowfin. At any rate, um, sometimes we run into some really big pike on this particular lake too. So you uh, take what the lake gives you. Um, I just saw a fish porpoise out there. Hopefully that was a big pike. Um, yeah, we're going to be fishing ultra shallow water for big toothy critters. Let's get started. All right, folks, today's conditions are northeast at five, uh, mostly to partly cloudy. So our H3O sunglass conditions call for a hot copper lens, which is a really nice colored lens when you're uh, fishing on cloudy days and uh, or filtered sun like we got today. Um, what's nice about these sunglasses is they have interchangeable lenses. You can actually change the lens color for whatever kind of sky conditions you got. And uh, that's really a nice program. Basically, it's four sets of sunglasses in one pair. So you don't have to buy a whole bunch of pairs, which is pretty sweet. Get my line all wetted down here. Okay. We'll be starting out, uh, we got a nice little breeze, so we're going to drift our way back into this bay. See if we can run into, usually the pike are on the outer rim of the real uh, shallow weeds. So I'll be starting off with a little 3 8 ounce spinner bait here. Throwing that uh, on the Corrado 610 medium with 15 pound mono. So pretty light rig, actually. And uh, we'll just kind of bebop along here. Barb's gonna start out with the uh, swim jig. And it's usually the swim jig. Sometimes it's the blade, the aggressive ones. Pike will come on the spinner bait, but man, those swim jigs will really crush some big pike. So that's the plan here. Water temp, 76.4. Looking pretty good for uh, Trophy Pike or Trophy Dogfish Mission. The first dog program of 2022 starts right now. Giant bullfin right here, giant. Oh, he's coming up to it. He's looking at it. Come on. He's trying to bite it. He's going to the bottom. Come on, bite it. Freaking bolt moving. Dang it. Oh my gosh, he was going to bite that thing. Freaking bolt had to move. Wow, totally screwed. Oh my God, he was gonna bite that thing. Ooh, come on. That's a dog, come on. I got weeds on my bait. Oh, dang it. Look at that, still moving, still moving, come on.
Come on. Here it is, here it is. Come on, eat it. It waked up on it again, come on. Now I don't see it. Here it is, here it is. Oh, she ate it. I got her, I got her. Dogfish apprehended. It's a little one though, but it is a bullfin. It's a little one. <laughs> That thing hit that frog, didn't get it. It's so hard to hook them on top water and got it on the comeback, throwback on the swim jig. Okay. That is what's so cool about these bowfin. If you don't get them on the initial bite, which is so common with the top water, you gotta follow up with a little jig and you just throw that thing right out in front of their face and they will eat it. It's not a big one at all, but we at least have gotten the right species and we floated over several really, really big ones. So they are in here. Unfortunately, the wind is making it hard for us to have any boat control. There we go. Okay, it's not a big one, but it is the correct species. The bowfin, AKA dogfish. Ooh, he's a slimy guy. Man, there is some big ones in here right now but the wind is making it really hard. It's drifting us back too fast. Look at that, look at the tail. Such a cool fish. Okay, we'll get you back. It doesn't look like they have teeth, but trust me, underneath those gums, it is nasty. Look at that dorsal fin move, that's so cool. Look at him just hanging out. That is crazy. Okay, kind of difficult conditions, like I said, with the wind, but uh, they are definitely here. So we're just gonna have to keep making drifts and I don't know, had, had that fish come up on the frog, like I said first, and swapped it up with the swim jig and just dropped it in front of her face and she ate it. Oh yeah, big one. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Come on. I got her. Big one, nice one. Net. Oh yeah, come on. Bagger, bagger, bagger. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Sight fishing them, the key. This clear water, holy crap, that's a good one. Oh my. That's a nice one. They see it, you throw it, they go down to the bottom and it picked it up right off the bottom. It's unbelievable. All right, folks, this is a big one. It's definitely one of the biggest I've ever caught. Um, I got my scale with me. We're gonna see what the heck this thing weighs. Seven and a quarter. My biggest is 8.96, so I'm not there, but it is a good one. All right, let's get a look at this thing. Okay, there we go. That is a beautiful dog. Oh my gosh, these fish are so tough, so hard to catch, so hard to hold on to. Um, man, sight fishing them, that was just incredible. Pitch right out to it, saw the thing, and it swam down to the bottom and sucked that jig in. So cool, beautiful animal, look at that thing. Oh man. Okay, let's get your beautiful slimy self back. Yeah, you can't see the teeth, they're hidden by those lips. Oh my gosh, really beautiful fish. Look at that thing. There she goes. Holy crap. Oh, 
tough conditions like I've been saying all along to where I actually decided to drift all the way in, turn the boat around, go into the wind so I can kind of control my drift. Otherwise, we were just blowing right through the spot too fast. And uh, the first one, I had a good clean shot where I could just pitch that jig out to it. She just inhaled it. So yeah, when the water gets real clear like this, sight fishing can be really good. Um, but it makes it more difficult to get them uh, like on a casting approach. I don't know, it's just hard to get them to bite uh, when it's this clear of the water. It's like crystal clear back in here. But uh, it allows you to uh, sight fish these things. So I need to catch my breath, get my jig going, and let's get on another dog. All right, folks, that was intense. Sight fishing is so crazy intense because it happens right in front of you. Like these fish literally bite five feet off the side of the boat just i just got a little swim jig here um just with a little flapping craw on there got some titanium 20 pound leader material in front of that and that's it sight fishing man um normally we'd be frog fishing a lot of this but the water's so clear uh, i did get that last one to wake up and hit the frog but you know they just are not that aggressive uh, it's hard to get them to actually inhale a frog so that last one or two fish before I was able to move it and locate it on the frog and convert it on the swim jig this one I just pitched out the swim jig and that was magic so let's see if we can uh, see if we could spot fish a couple more of these things Oh, oh. Big one, come on. Oh, he tried to bite it. Look at that. Oh, he just turned off. Dang it. Oh my gosh, he tried to eat it. As soon as we got in this clear water. Dang, man. Another big one. It's kind of boring. You just look around. You don't even cast until you see one. I've basically thrown on four of them today, and all four have bit the bait. We're only sitting in like a foot and a half of water. The fish definitely prefer a particular kind of bottom. Like right in this area here, if you look over the side, it's you can see half weeds and half sand, a lot of bait fish moving around in there. This is what they prefer, just like this. You get out too far into the lake and then the water clarity goes way down and there's a lot of algae bloom. This is all just clear water coming out, uh, fed from the spring holes here. Yeah, I don't know, have not seen any dogfish for like probably two hours now. So pretty much about over this, make one more pass through here and see if we get lucky. and see one but uh yeah i don't know just it's dead right now ah unfortunately that is all we've got for you we have spent the last two to three hours trying to catch one more had a couple close calls saw only two in that two to three hour window um pretty much all sight fishing program um, it's just not set up right now uh, for casting at them. Oh, but we have definitely started the season of dogfish fishing. Looking for that state record fish I've been chasing for four years now. And uh, we definitely saw some really nice quality fish. And all four that I had shots at today all bit the bait. I mean, they actually, I'd see them, pitch out to them. They'd tip down and grab it and... Two of them just didn't grab it real aggressively. So, I don't know, it's, this is difficult fishing. This is not easy. It's much easier when you can just blind cast at them. Um, but in this weeds like this, it, you know, you're just pitching to one fish that's sitting in a little pocket of clear water 
They like to be in that two feet of water, three feet of water with kind of more clear water, sandier bottom, and kind of a hole in the weeds. They don't like the super thick weeds. So, uh, and no pike. It's just, you know, the wind is blowing in to this spot and it's made this spot pretty warm today. And I think the pike are out probably sitting on their lazy butt wanting some cooler water. So that's all we got, but at least we boated a really quality seven and a quarter pound bowfin. Got to see one of those cool yeah, fish. That's the first time I've seen it. So it was oh. a, a cool, cool catch. Prehistoric, bad, bad fish. Um, that's it. That's all we got. Hopefully another dogfish mission here shortly. And hopefully some muskie is going to go fish with Robbie this week as well. So, uh, hey buddy, what are you doing? You want to be on camera, don't you? <laughs> what are you doing? That's a turn. I saw one of those get eaten by a muskie once on Mille Lacs. Oh. At any rate, boy, he's going to land right on us. Well, that's all we got. Go down, hit the subscribe button, click the like button. Boy, he is just, you're just a ham, aren't you there, buddy? <laughs> all right. We'll see you, folks.